Thank you for joining me for my pre my pre presentation on professional frame of reference. I guess I'll just get started with my orientation to healthcare social work. The biopsychosocial assessment is the main model I operationalize, and I feel like it is a basis for my practice in healthcare social work. In my opinion, one needs to understand that all these systems work together and affect an individual in countless ways. Um, by omitting one, you risk missing some valuable insight into a person and an opportunity to provide therapeutic benefits. I also believe in a strength-based approach to any treatment, not only behavioral health, because it makes sense to me to build on something a person is good at rather than where they may be weak. I feel like it instills confidence in a person's ability to succeed at something. One theory I stand behind is solution-based uh, therapy, solution-focused therapy, pardon me, because I appreciate that it focuses on the solution, not the problem, which I feel can get a client unstuck and moving forward to setting goals and making changes. During my internship working in healthcare social work, I've really come to value the concepts of being client-centered and the client's right to self-determination, which I feel are key to the advocacy and empowerment principles that we strive for as social workers. This brings me to the change process where I believe everyone has the ability to make changes in their situation. And it is my belief that my role as a social worker is to guide the individual through the steps toward change. I can guide an individual on identifying goals and identifying strengths that can help them reach these goals. And lastly, I can guide them and identify any opportunities they may have to make changes. Before this change process can really begin, my first intervention needs to be building a trusting relationships that I believe starts with rapport building through showing respect and compassion one human to another. Another important component of relationship building is how I perform the assessment. And I believe it is best to approach this as a conversation rather than a question answer format and with the inclusion of the use of self in order to allow the individual to get to know me too. Although I do err on the side of limited use of self-disclosure, I, I rather try to keep my shares to surface level information. After the assessment is complete, and I, uh, I'd like to involve the individual in the planning and change process to empower them and to motivate change. The core values of healthcare social work that ground my practice our service to others, the dignity and, and worth of a person, and the importance of human relationships. The ethical principles that are core to my practice as a healthcare social worker are the so social workers are that social workers have to behave in a trustworthy manner. Social workers should only practice within their areas of competence and that they, they need to develop and enhance their professional expertise on an ongoing basis. And lastly, that social workers should always challenge social injustice. My values and ethics align with my orientation and beliefs about change in the following ways. One, I believe that I need to draw on my knowledge, values, and skills to help people in need and to address social problems. Two, I must strive to ensure access to needed information, services, and resources, equality of opportunity, and meaningful participation and decision-making for all people. Three, I should always seek to enhance clients' capacity and opportunity to change and to address their own needs. Four, I need to understand that relationships between and among people are an important vehicle for change and that I need to engage people as partners in the helping process. So who am I has been a question I've been asking myself since I began the MSW program. And much has happened since I began that has shaped me into who I am today. Many parts of my identity I can't ever change, like being from a predominant white race and where I spent the majority of my life, which was in a conservative culture. But many aspects of my identity have been shaped and I'm sure will continue to be shaped by my work as a healthcare social worker. I'm lucky I've been born to two liberal hippies because it offset the conservative small town I spent the majority of my life in, and I hold fast to beliefs that were instilled in me that all people are equal and deserving of love, 
compassion, and a good life. But there are parts of my identity that make it hard for me to relate on a real deep level with others with different identities. And although I've taken classes, read books, and articles, there is nothing like lived experiences to help a person really understand where someone else is coming from. Since this will always be the case, I will try to exercise my values of being non-judgmental, open-minded, and showing compassion to all in order to best help the individuals I'm lucky enough to serve. And last, I'll just wrap up just a little bit about um, me going into this program. You know, I really kind of went on into the MSW program on a whim and not really know what a social worker was and kind of having an idea of I wanted to work on a in a team environment in a healthcare setting because I was a nurse before. And uh, that first year of the social work program really uh, helped me understand what a social worker was. And the next two years that followed just concreted that. And my internship, especially this last um, five months, has really cemented more for me that every all of my lived experiences um, and all of my work experiences combined with my education in the MSW program has really brought me to the place I'm supposed to be. You know, I'm 54 years old and I have a lot of lived and work experience and education. So I think that all that together has really brought me to this place of where I was supposed to be. Um, and that feels like a good feeling. It's very rewarding to be serving the people that I'm serving. So thank you for going on this journey with me for my professional frame of reference. Take care and congratulations to all you graduates. Bye.